Hello everyone, this is DJ PJR 462 or just call me Dennis according to StarCraft 2. This will be one of my first casts, video casts, possibly my only video cast, but I thought I'd give it a try just to show off the new StarCraft 2 beta, plus I'm messing around with my newly acquired Fraps license along with my beta key. So, just some background. By no means am I a pro at StarCraft. I played the original here and there. Never really got into it that much. But, thought I'd get StarCraft 2 as soon as that comes out, which is going to be July 27th. Excited for that day to come. And basically, this is one of the f couple games I've been playing. Um, I thought I'd try to cast a short game since a lot of the ones are long and just pretty much terrible. I'm terrible at macroing and microing and I'm trying to work on all that. Um, I really don't have any build orders. I have no idea what build order to do or what. I mean, I think I just did a nine pool here along with starting an extractor. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to scout my drone out early, see what I can find out about my other player. Just so you know, we both I play I all I always play random, and uh, during this match, my opponent also played random, so we both had no clue what race we were or each other. Um, basically, all I'm doing is getting my drones, scanning as many as I can. This is when I, my drone finally gets in there, and this is when I finally see, oh, he's a Zerg player. And typically, what I've found out is ZVZ, you typically go all archers. And uh, when I got in here, because I I, I'm terrible, I, my drone dies, of course. But I see that he's already building Zerglings, so I, this is where I start to build my own. And uh, I was actually expecting him to do a Zerg Rush, like, right now, but luckily he didn't. Um, started building my queen there, and I actually think I'm supply blocked. That's why I'm not building Zerglings, of course. And, yeah, there's my first two Zerglings right there. I, uh, I yeah, try to get my Overlord closer in there to see what's going on, but not really... <clears throat> doing very good at macroing, as you can tell. Uh, this is where I decided I'm instead of going for my natural expansion, of course, I could try to go for the high yield, which you'll see later was a very bad choice. Um, I typically would suggest always going for your natural expansion over some other random base. That's usually a smart choice. And usually by now, I would have created a Roach Warren, but for some reason, I didn't. I don't know why. And this shows business income tab. I know I'm on Windows Movie Maker, I can barely see what that is saying. But, uh, yeah, this is where I get my Overlord in here. I start to see he still only has Zerglings. And, uh, this is the unit tab, and I think he goes up to 15 Zerglings right away, so... I, I generally, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh shit, I have to get all Zerglings to counter his, because, I, I don't know, under I, don't really know that well yet, I don't think Roaches would do very well with mass Zerglings. Um, yeah, it's another weird move of mine, where he attacks my Overlord, and I forgot about the, the fact that Queens attack air units, of course, where I lose it, and I go under supply. Uh, but figuring that he hasn't made roaches yet, I went ahead and decided I'm just going to go for ultralisks because I've yet to use them in game and they are pretty cool. So I figure I'm just going to tech up and keep building zerglings as much as I can. Um, of course, I'm still under supply. That's where I finally get my lair up, and I think right when I get my lair, this is when I get my uh, 
infestation pit. I think that's what it's called. I get that thing up. And this is when my high yield hatchery finally finishes. And basically, right there, I probably should have got my queen to inject more larvae, but of course I don't. And I'm trying to use my zerglings to scout around a little bit. Make sure he isn't hiding anything in my base. <clears throat> By now, I really should have had a second extractor. I don't know why I don't, but... Oops. I probably should have built a queen at that second hatchery as well, but another mistake. Once again, I'm just macroing up. This is when I see a big blob of blue come on my screen. I'm thinking, oh, here, here he comes with his zergling, so great. So I thought I'd try and block him off at the ramp, but I was a little too slow. Of course, he used some of his micro to get around my zerglings. That was a fail on my part. And he, I thought he was going to go right for my drone. Instead, he goes and kills my queen, which I don't really understand. 